Hey vegan food explorers, today we've got a review of Weetabix Crispy Minis Chocolate Chip. Let's get into the video. Don't forget to subscribe as we've got loads more vegan products coming up soon. Okay, I'm going to come out right and say it. There is a vegan elephant in the room and we're going to go straight to the ingredients before we even look at anything else. Right, ingredients. Vegan, yep, vegan, 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 vegan. Then we get, I mean, all the wheat, the chocolate, we now know, yep, that's vegan, no milk. Soya, no milk, that's vegan. Sugar, salt, flavoring, iron, niacin, all vegan. Thiamine, so your vitamins B1 and B2, vegan. Folic acid, vegan. Vitamin D, vi hang on, is it vegan? Good question. So, this is where it becomes very interesting. Vitamin D can potentially be not vegan, and that is why this cereal is only classified as for vegetarians. But please don't stop watching the video as it is, gets even more interesting. So, vitamin D, where does it come from and why is it potentially not vegan? There are some vitamin D sources that are vegan. However, many sources are from lanolin and lanolin is from sheep's wool. And sheep's wool is of course from slaughterhouse floors often and then the lanolin is taken off it. So. Why am I saying that I say eat it? Well, let's have a look back on the cereal packet for actually how much vitamin D is in the food. Vitamin D, so per serving, is 1.7 UG. What is a UG? UG is a microgram, and a microgram is a thousandth of a gram. So it is absolutely tiny. It is quite literally microscopic amounts of vitamin D in here, which is just crazy. So why does that then mean that yeah, what does that mean? That means that basically it's so minuscule, it's crazy. It's just, it's, for me, I'm a pragmatic vegan and I follow the advice of PETA and also the Vegan Society who say not to worry about vitamin D content. So why do they say don't worry? Well, they say don't worry for several reasons. The number one reason which I find most important to me is that it sends a message which is so bad to the, to the producers of these foods like Weetabix that says, don't even bother. Even though it's 99.99999% vegan, we're not eating it. And a lot of foods have to include vitamin D because we get so little of it, they, they, ha they have to um, include it. And so that we're punishing them by not, buying it, by not buying it as vegans when it is so, basically it is vegan. And that's the thing. Second of all, for me, I, I am a pragmatic vegan. I live my lifestyle that I am do as much as I can to possibly avoid animal products or animal suffering. However, you've got to be real. It's 2021. The tarmac outside my road that I drive on to go to the farm animal sanctuaries to go and get my favorite vegan burgers has animal products in it. There's animal products everywhere. I try my hardest to avoid it, but there just are. That doesn't mean that I'm going to walk down the road and buy a McDonald's beef burger and start eating chicken and eggs. It's so different. And for me, I eat vitamin D because I'm a pragmatic vegan and I want to send a message to brands like Weetabix that your products that are basically 99.999% vegan, keep keep it up, keep it up, and buy the, give more demand. This world runs on money. Every pound that you spend is a vote for what you believe in and I vote for veganism. I vote for foods that are basically vegan and for food that is vegan. So. Hopefully that helped. I'd love, to, I'd love to know your views in the in the comments below because vitamin D is a really interesting topic um, and lots of people have different views and I don't think there's a right, right or a wrong reason. I know several vegans that I talk to that just don't eat it because they don't want to but I know a hell of a lot of vegans who do eat vitamin D and I also know a lot of ve vegans that don't even know that vitamin D isn't vegan. So hopefully we've learned something and I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Tell me I'm crazy as I'd love to debate it out. So anyway, let's get back to the video. So we're gonna be eating these and I class them as vegan. Weetabix Crispy Menis. So they're chocolate chip. And again, it just proves chocolate, you do not need milk. Chocolate is vegan. Okay, so these are pretty cheap. You can get them for less than two pounds, I think, in almost every supermarket. Sometimes they're on offer. I think we got these from Lidl actually, and they were super cheap, less than two pounds for a whole pack. Um, so they're classic Weetabix but they're so small, they're micro and they've got chopped chunks in. So we're almost at the end of this, so that's why I realised I need to do a video. So there's going to be some, there's going to be that classic Weetabix dust. 
which we are not really a fan of, but never mind. Right, so as it comes out of the bowl already, I can smell the chocolate. We're gonna do a little close up here. So look, they're tiny, they're really, really tiny, like a, like a half a thumb of uh, Weetabix, and you can see the chocolate, if my uh, phone ever decides to actually record it. Yeah, you can see the chocolate chunks. You get a lot of chocolate in there. Loads of chocolate, I can smell it, I can actually smell it. Smells really good, and they're super steady. I'm gonna try and break one. Yeah, they're really, really strong. They're not like your regular Weetabix. I think they are a little bit different, you know? Like a regular Weetabix is really quite dry. You need a lot of other stuff, but these, I think they may have a little bit more sugar in them, because um, they're a lot more crispy. Uh, yeah, and they are called crispy mini, so that would make sense. They're, they're, they're harder, and they, they have much more of a sweet flavor, um, and a real crunch, which, which is really nice. And then, of course, you have the chocolate. Right, let's pour some milk in. Okay, we're gonna be using Alpro Soya, plant-based, packed with protein. This is my favorite milk at the moment. It's great value, soy milk, high in protein, and it has calcium in. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit in, and we're gonna see what happens. So yeah, so another thing of them being crispy is means that they don't they don't dry out very much. Sorry, not dry out, no. They don't get moist, they don't go crumbly. Let's have a little look. So look, already a lot of cereals will go really soggy, but they are not at all. Even these granules, that dust are still you can you can feel it, it's still quite hard. So let's have a look here. I'm gonna take a bite of one. Okay, here we go. Mm. You can hear that crunch. It's crunchy, but not too much. It's just softened up a little bit with that soy milk. It's got the chocolate bits. I reckon you get about maybe four or five chocolate chocolate chips in each one. It's really chocolatey. It hasn't made the water go chocolate because those chips stay inside here. You can see this is from the dust they've come loose. And these, these choc chips here, really good. Really, really good. Really high quality. So yeah, I definitely recommend these. These are great breakfast. Are they high in sugar? Let's have a look. Per 100 grams, sugar 17 grams per 100. So no, I don't think they are that high in sugar really. I mean, that is a bit of sugar. They're, they're basically pure carbohydrates. They're not super high in sugar. Like, you know, the cereals of old, very low fat. Um, protein, 10 grams, modest amount of protein and 386 calories. So I think these are pretty healthy breakfast to be honest, great carbohydrates, got a few vitamins in there. If you had these with some milk and some fruit, that is a great breakfast of champions. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope learning about vitamin D kind of made sense and my, my thoughts and the thoughts of PETA and the vegan society. Let me know in the comments below what you think and how you approach it. See you in the next video. Thanks.